Hello, everybody. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Uh, hello, everybody. It's I, the Waluigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Psychonauts. Last time, we completed our basic braining, as as we as we are hyper zoomed in on Raz's face. Uh, anyways, we're gonna we mu we're gonna go visit Sasha eventually. Up, uh, yep. Uh, back back to uh, Oleander's uh, mumbling there. Well, let's just explore around a bit, I guess. Uh, no these two. Passing, but I need to get to Sasha Nine's secret lab. Maybe you should have thought of that before. I did think of that before. That's why I'm here now. Exactly. Now you gotta pay the toll. One arrowhead. Pay up. I found this thing. Is that <laughs> what you're talking about? Yep, that's an arrowhead. How'd they get here? Frankie, the new kid can't be this dumb, right? The camp is built on an Indian burial ground, and... Oh my gosh! Indians buried their dead here? Ew! I hope not. No, stupid. They buried their arrowheads here. They're hidden underground, but they let out a little gas once in a while. Just like Coach Oleander. So if you see any of that stuff, just pull them right out. Like truffles. Anyway, let me have one of yours. Oh yeah, so uh yeah, so those those two I believe are oh, it, it, you. Come here, you. Can't do the scavenger hunt without a list. Report back to me when you have enough items for your first promotion. Now get. Anyway, we got a uh so scavenger hunt. Hey, where'd he go? How does that old guy get around so fast? Anyway, here's the here's the lodge. Uh, anyway, so those two uh, girls we saw earlier, if I recall correctly, they are uh, legitimately uh, lesbians, and if that's the case, this game is actually well based because because you know lesbians weren't like from from my understanding of the early two thousands, uh, that was something uncommon you would see in media. So this will make this game ahead of its time. Oh, hey, Lily's here. Hey, Lily. Do you know where Sasha Nine's secret lab is? Secret? It's printed on your map. Duh. Oh, I knew that. I was just curious if you knew where Sasha Nine's lab was. Because I do. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep, hey, it's those two. What you doing there? We're making friendship bracelets. You know, for our friends. Anyway, so you can go that way. Hey, why are you stopping? Oh, hey, I thought that, that girl disappeared. No, 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 no. Let's go. And let's see. There's a TV in here. No, as you see, no one's in the TV room. Sorry, 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 my bad. Not to worry, my boy. Anyway. Excuse me. I told you the burgers ain't ready. But no, you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not gonna be done for a while. There may be a week. A week? They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. I don't even want a hamburger. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. you yep, so rank 20, and you need, and you need 800 of those arrowheads. You can turn them in for psi cards. Now with that, you can change the color of some of your psi powers, like your levitation ball and what have you and what not. Well, kind of a you need to be rank 30 for that, rank 15 for this. Now that Dawson rod will help you find arrowheads that are buried deep. Now, you take that psi core there, put it together with nine psi cards. Mmm, dream fluffs. Yep, so Delicious these are all the items you can get. Cheap. Each one is packed with concentrated mental health. That's it for now. All right, go get more. So, let's see. Yep, so here's our main menu here. Uh, we got... Eight, so we, we cannot... So we can't even make... So we can't even make a challenge marker yet. With that being said, how do you make the challenge marker? Well, 
there's this stump here. Wonder what happens if we jump into it. Hey, welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Krilla? Or somewhere else? Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go to Ford's, I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. And this leads us here. Yep, so. Make sure you little spoon benders don't kill each other. Yeah, so here's Ford Freller. He's basically the main guy of the uh, Psychonauts. What's Citanium? Citanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but... It can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gorge. Gives this valley an interesting history. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, anyway, why was he breaking leaves? breaking leaves? Was that a disguise? Uh, yes, well, well, I have many disguises. It, it helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> When I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. All right, then. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so... I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. A piece of bacon. Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have like a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. Anyways. So, let me show off what the bacon does. Now, don't go pulling that out when I'm physically nearby. Or I'm telling you, I'm going to eat it. Where would you like me to... So, kids' cabins area, main lodge. So, we go back to the kids' cabins area. With pleasure. We now... So, so this is basically the fast travel system. So, we have the log right there. And if we pull out this bacon... Bacon. And then? Agent Cruller, do you have any advice on the current situation? Well, if you're up with some experimental training, you should go see Sashi in his lab under the GPC. Should be marked on your map. Nothing more to report at this time. Cruller out. 
Yep, and that, so you can get, so basically it can give you hints on what you need to do, and you can also regroup back, uh, under there. Anyway, let's just grab some more psychic heads, and let's talk to Nils here. Nutcracker might be faster. Tonight, when this baby is full of fine ladies, I'm going to see everything. How are you going to fill that nut with ladies? No, dude, the girl's cabin. I've got a man on the inside. I get it. You're using clairvoyance. You grabbed one of the squirrel's nuts, and now you're using clairvoyance on it to form a mental link and see what the squirrel sees. Um, could you say acorns instead of nuts if you repeat that to anybody else? <laughs> Teach me how to do that. Hey, I paid a little bit of attention in class, but not that much. What you need is an expert in clairvoyance, where I am merely an expert in the ladies. Yeah, so we can't learn clairvoyance just yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. Uh, we get it, uh, Oleander. Uh, anyways. Yeah, so let's just head back to the main camp campgrounds, and we're gonna look at the map and figure out where the fuck we're supposed to go. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, things you gotta do. This is where we can view, like, cutscenes and whatnot. Oop. So, we gotta be... Right there. So, we just have to head down and make a left. Uh, but let's talk to the other guys here. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot learn forever, there. Uh, let's, let's, you know, let's go ahead to the parking lot real quick. Because we can. Ooh, and this, this is also a perfect time to grab some, uh, side cards. So we can return later and get, make ourselves a, a, uh, a, 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 a side challenge marker. Let's see. I don't like, I might not be able to get up there just yet. Because I'm probably going to need some psychic abilities we don't have yet. After all, we only have our basic braining. Yeah, probably not. Uh, ooh, but I do see another uh, side card. So we have ten now. Ooh, and there's another one here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I if I can even get that right now. There's another one here on this military truck, which we can pretty much tell that it's uh, Oleander. I mean, after all, he's the military man. Yep. There's also one up there, but again, I don't think I can even grab it. I think I see a side challenge marker in there, rather than side. No, nope, no, nope, it's just a side card. Alrighty then. Well then, we're definitely getting some progress done. Yep. That, and that leads to a completely different area, so I'm gonna go the way we're supposed to go. Oh hey, those two are are up there. Let's go. Let's let's go talk to them. Hey, it's the king of the obstacle course. Hey, Rez, you're awesome. You must be a psychonaut by now. Yeah, or even a double psychonaut. <laughs> oh no, not yet. But soon. Wow, those two are so nice. <laughs> <laughs> The jokes never get old here. The jokes never get old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what are you guys doing up here? Uh... Writing cheers! Oh, yeah! Writing cheers! Wanna hear one? Uh, okay. Ready? Okay! When I grow up... Hey, what you gonna be? I'm gonna be the best, just like my mean 
homie. And when you say homie, whose horn might you be tooting? The mind reading cycle thriller. Oh, you must mean Rasputin. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Yep. There's a lot of personality in this uh, in these games here. Anyway, we got another side card here, and then another one over there, and then there's one on the on the roof of the building there. So we're just gonna grab this. Huh, we are so close to be able to getting two rank ups. We just we just need uh, enough of the. Uh... Ah! That's fine. I don't I don't need it right now. Hey, a gold doubloon. Oh, there's two different ways. Uh... So if I follow this main path, let me just let me just double check things here. Yeah, I'm going the right way. All right, let's. Yep, GPC in the wilderness. That's where we need to be. And now that we, and now that we are here, we can we can technically fast travel here now. Well, I'm doing some advanced training right now, as a matter of fact. So I don't think new kid is really a name that you want to get too used to saying. Hold on there. You're not doing Sasha Nine's advanced training that he does in his secret underground lab, are you? Hidden deep within the iron walls of the GPC, where no one can hear you screaming? Why, yes I am. Sakes alive. Well, nice knowing you. I... I... I want to do and survive. I ain't no coward. In fact, I'm just built different. Alright, another cutscene. Hey, was that you? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, just now. In the woods. <laughs> mm, no. It must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write greeting cards. There was some sort of shadowy being out there. Lurking. Watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! <laughs> man, man, I really just can't catch a break, huh? Oh, oh hey, another side card. Ah! I'm getting that side card whether you want me to or not. There we go. Not too hard, eh? I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm hiding. And I thought... Oh, Nils. When will you peek into the Yeah, so that lady there, she's she's the gossiper. Uh, I'm just going to ignore her. Alrighty then. Okay, okay game really does not want me to be walking on the hill there. Oh yeah, watch out! Uh, bears here are psychic. As he, as he see that one right there. Uh, now here's the thing. You can actually fight that. All right, we... There we go, I killed it. All that for a side card. And then another one over here. Man, we're doing pretty good with all this. Nope. Still no much. And then another one. Wow, wow, I'm gonna have to buy myself some uh, side cores. Okay, can't get that without uh without disturbing the uh geodesic psycho isolation chamber this way. Stay out. Anyways. Uh, let me let me go grab that side card that I saw earlier. Uh, this earlier this way.
No. Yeah, I keep I keep overshooting it. Also, great camera angle, by the way. There we go. Alrighty then. Just jump up here. Grab this. Might as well grab this. And there we go. Well, we're good to go. And we can totally get three side cores. inside it? Nah, the staff hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Boolean dwarf accomplice should assault own size or larger only. While in cooler, perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. Hey, wait! Wait. I, I, I know what he means by gi gigantic bear where, with skin where hair should be. I, okay, I understand that. You got, you guys who don't know this game, probably, okay, those who play the game probably knows what he's talking about. Those who don't, well, don't. But anyway, I think it's about time we, uh, talk to Sasha. We've done a, uh, enough goofing around here, collecting cards and whatnot. And we'll grab the, uh, side cards later. Now, now... Luckily for us, we have. There we go. And we're gonna go visit uh, Sasha now. Nine. I'm here for the advanced training. Let's see. Ooh, another side card. Don't mind if I do. So what are we going to learn? Bending spoons? Burning stuff? Anyway. I've been hearing a lot about head explosion, and I was wondering... Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice down here. Not parlor tricks. If you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind, step up to the brain tumbler, and we'll begin. Brain tumbler? Anyway. So... What's this hairdryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the brain tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche, where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent! Tumble away. Now just relax. This will not hurt. Unless, Unless something, something really bad, bad happens. happens. This game has a lot of quotable lines. Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious, a place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. You have just begun your training, Rasputin, so many of the connections with other minds are still not developed for you, and those doorways remain just out of reach. But the more you explore the mental world, the more connections you will form. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one, your own. Step through it, and we'll continue. Yeah, with that, let's see. You cannot fall off or... Oh, wait! You, you can't jump off! <laughs> anyway, here's... Brain Tumbler Experiment. It's not really our own mind, but... It's still the... It's still where we have to go. Rasputin, can you hear me? Sasha... Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. 
Tell me, what can you see? I see a rundown gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling. Hey, oh hey, our little buddy's here. Uh, now that we have ac now that we have now that we have access to uh... Sasha, I'm going inside the caravan. What do you see inside? Hold on, let me get let me get this fault. Get back here, you asshole! Okay, I got one hit. There we go. Rasput Rasputin's getaway. So there's his, there's his family. He gets given that uh that pamphlet. His father rips it up. He uh, takes the world's smallest pony, and he runs away with it. And he gets to, and he gets a whispering rock. Uh, anyway, with our little buddy here, we can actually go back to the collective unconscious. But we're not going to do that. We're going to head inside here. I'm not sure. It's getting fuzzy. Rasputin, are you okay? What do you see now? I see a small, bunny-like animal thing. Hmm. An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it, and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Hmm. Okay, Mr. Bun. You and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like two peas in a... Hey! Come back here! Anyway, a lot of weird stuff here. A lot of weird figments. Uh, oh! Oh, great. We have, uh, what do you call it? Uh, emotional baggage we have to, uh... Also, meat. What's with the meat here? Also, you die. Well, at least we're getting a lot of figments to uh, add to our... Also, more meat. Also, we need, we need the healing. We did we did fight that bear. Uh, we got another st we got a steamer trunk. Uh, Sasha? What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming eye demon kind of deal. Oh. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else... Were... Agent 9? Sorry. Almost ready. Sasha! Whew, that was a close one. Ah! Hmm. That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh. I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Alrighty then. Well, luckily for us, uh, somewhere around here... Yeah, here it is. Where would you like me to... So we can head to the parking lot, we can head back to the sanctuary, we can head to the main lodge, or the kids... Me outside. There he is. So let's oh, let's head. Bring me back a burger this time, will you? Anyway, let's head back to the uh, let's head back to the lodge. After all, we after all we have some psi uh, cord we need to make. Also, also, how do I miss this guy here? Oh. 
and then and then we all head back to uh, to Sasha. Anyway, let's uh, let's talk hey, to Ford here. I, I told you. Just kidding. <laughs> I just want to buy stuff. But don't push me, Sonny. I can reach you with this spatula. Oh, that's my last cobweb. And with that, ah, now here's some, now that now now that. Now, okay, so you take that side core there, put it together I'll with nine. Alrighty then. What else can I do you for? I'll take it. Alrighty then. What else can I that's do you for? That's it for now. All right, go get more air. And then let's head let's head to Fort Sanctuary. Where would you like? Let's go. Yeah. We just have to fall down here. Now, before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are. You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp store, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The duster stores the cobweb's psychic energy on the real world side. So, you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core, also sold in the company store for a nominal fee, and it will kick out a bona fide side challenge marker, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my side cards and cores in there. And soon I'll be able to burn stuff. Yep, basically. Have fun. <laughs> Let's see, I also saw there was a... Yeah, there's a card here. Wow. Wow, one more card. I could just make another one, huh? Well, enough of that. Anyways. He just found a side challenge mark marker. Yeah, 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 I know how that works. Anyway, and then I still need to buy a side core at the camp store before I can use this machine to make oh. side challenge markers. Oh, okay then. So So he just he just gives me use use up all the ones I have. Okay, that's actually convenient. What's inconvenient are these platforms. Anyway, let's get out of here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Where would you like? Right there. Agent Nine's lab, please. With pleasure. And then, let's just head back to Nine and learn how to defend ourselves. Okay, I'm ready to learn how to really fight. Oh, really? Hmm. What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that offer. It usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. I'm ready to kill for my camp. Listen, I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Bodello would kill me. What's the big deal? What she doesn't know won't hurt her. You don't even have a marksmanship learner's permit. I could lose my job. I'll get one. Even if you used that secret passage over there and snuck into his sanctuary, Agent Cruller would never give you a marksmanship learner's permit. Agent Cruller? Never in a million... I'm off. Be right back after I talk with Agent Cruller. <laughs> Where would there we go? Let's go to Ford's. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, no, I just have. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm back. I need a uh, a, a learning permit. Agent Cruller, Charles, how goes the training? 
Sasha says I need to learn how to fight better. He wants to teach you advanced combat on your first day? Yeah. I had a vision with a huge monster with yellow eyes and a big mouth full of gnashing teeth. Did it happen to spit anything at you? Yeah. I think it was like an old dining helmet or something. I see. Mm. Yes, well, we'd better get you armed. Why? What's happening? Oh, nothing, nothing. P prepare your mind. That's the motto of the Psychonauts. <coughs> Here, this is a marksmanship learner's permit. It will only work when you're in Sash's mind. Once you complete his shooting range, you'll get the real merit badge and you can side blast anywhere you want. Thanks. Side blast? No, you'll find out. Now get going. We can't have the camp overrun with big eyed garbage spitting monsters, can we? No, sir. I'd better go. Good. Yep, so we can't use it right now, but hey, we now have a learner's permit. Anyway. Okay, I got it. Check it out. Excellent. Well, my ass is covered. Are you sure you are ready to do this? It could be dangerous. Yes. Yep. Are you going to pull me into your mind like the coach did? <laughs> no offense, but it's time you saw what an organized mind looks like. And there we go! Into another mine we go! Yeah, once again, sorry if I'm not talking too much. It's just that there's a lot of dialogue in these cutscenes. I kind of want to stay quiet. Welcome to my mind. Huh. It's so empty. Uh, I mean... There's more here than meets the eye. But I've learned to keep it under strict control. And that's what I'm going to teach you. Control your feelings, your fears, your anger. You must learn to control them, focus them, concentrate them, and release them. As therapy? No, as firepower. Say something hideous and horrible jumps out at you. Something, something so, so disgusting, disgusting that it simply, simply must, must die. die. <laughs> ah, oh, it's so tacky. I can't look directly at it. But I control those feelings, focus them, concentrate, and release. And the world this is, is a better, better place. place now. Your turn. <laughs> and the world is a better place. Gotta love it. Well Bob. Done, Raz. Keep well Bob. Done, Raz. Keep... Yes, yes, we all know you can punch things. But you're supposed to be learning how to use your Psy Blast now. Try it without punch. Alright, yep. Well done, Raz. Keep well done, Raz. Keep. There we go. Excellent. A victory for good taste. Now you must strive for precision when targeting. Say you were set upon by multiple attackers. Yeah. <laughs> but you need to dispense with them in a certain order. Eliminate these monsters in the proper sequence, and we can move on to the next lesson. Let's see, I know there's like a wait. Ah, lo okay, locking on is left trigger, got it. All right, you know what? Good shooting, Raz, but you are making it harder than it needs to be. You need to practice locking your it makes targeting and evasive. Let's try again. This time, lock your mental focus. It's not going to let me. There we go. God. Again. Good. Again. Right stick is how you switch to targeting. Got it. Hey, this, this guy. You in your vision? Um, well, it sure seemed a lot bigger in my head. Ah, problems often seem larger in our heads than they really are. That's an important lesson to learn. But this is a sensor, an integral part of any sane person's mind. The sensors roam through your psyche, looking for thoughts that don't belong. Hallucinations, manias, waking dreams. The sensors hunt them down and censor them out. Why do they come after me? I'm not a mania. Yes, but you are a foreign entity in my mind. You technically don't belong here. Yes, but I was attacked in my own head. Yes, well, the brain tumbler could be malfunctioning, 
or you could be insane. We'll test for that later. <laughs> now, blast it. Anyway, sensors are probably one of the funniest enemies I know because they just say no, 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 no. That's basically that's basically their whole whole deal. And there we go. That's the spirit. I killed it. It was just a thought I was having, and it's not dead. It has just returned to its basic form, raw psychic energy. Go absorb it. It's good, it's good for, for your mental, mental health. health. And if all, if only everything was easy as like in this game. This energy, your mental health increases, but as you psi blast, you expend your will to do damage. So be on the lookout for these small, dense clusters of raw psychic aggression. Absorb these as well to make sure you always have enough firepower. Now I'll leave the machine on for you, so you can practice. You have to blast 1,000 sensors to earn your marksmanship merit badge. Come back every day for practice, and you should have enough in as little as... three weeks. Three weeks? I only have a few days to earn all my merit badges and become a psychonaut. Slow and steady wins the race, my eager young friend. Now practice, slowly and carefully. Oh, man. Yeah, give me that, uh... Yeah, I'm just going to uh, see. I get yeah. Also, you can walk around here. There we go. Hmm, they're coming out faster, but still not fast enough. Hmm, not a problem. We can set it up to three. Hmm, still not fast enough. Yeah, this is also a good spot for grinding, by the way. Anyway. Mm, still not fast enough. Yeah, but but now but now I'm starting to get overwhelmed here. All right, you want let let let's add to the insanity here. Still not fast enough. Lots of stuff to collect. Man, I'm I'm literally gonna have infinite ammo, huh? But hey, this is this is definitely good because I, I think I need at least fifty to get uh, what do you call it? The the arrowhead. Uh, Detector. Still not fast enough. Oh uh, man, you really want me to hit the skull now, huh, Raz? Well, let, okay, let me get to at least uh, 100 arrowheads. Because you might as well grind here. Uh, almost, almost there. Honestly, it's just easier to punch them than, uh, than to blast them. And just like that, we got 100. Alrighty then. And actually, I'm gonna end the episode off here, cause... Cause well, uh, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you, if you uh, enjoy the content I do, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. Uh, help the channel grow and everything. Uh, like, like, comment, all that sort of thing. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna hit that skull thing and may or may not have Sasha get mad at us. But eh, we're we're a kid. We don't know any better. And impatient. Uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. So until then, bye bye. <laughs>